Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to easily remove the background from images and photos using Canva. Canva simplifies the process of removing image backgrounds with this easy to use BG Remover or Background Remover tool. With the Canva Background Remover tool, you can remove the background from images that you upload or from one of the thousands of photos available in the Canva library. Whether you're creating designs for e-commerce products or updating your online branding, the Background Remover tool will allow you to create dynamic designs that will stand out and grab attention. I'll also show you how to export your designs with transparency so you won't have a white or colored square behind your images after downloading. This is a necessity if you plan to upload your images to products such as t-shirts, coffee mugs, phone covers, or other items. The Canva website makes it easy to remove backgrounds from images but we'll also be going over how to use the Canva mobile app. This will allow you to remove the background from images and create awesome designs right from your smartphone. But in order to access the Canva background remover tool and to export your designs with transparency, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. With Canva Pro, not only can you access the background remover, but also thousands of professional design templates, the entire Canva image library, and tons of tools and features to help you create amazing designs. To unlock your free trial of Canva Pro, go ahead and head over to jasongandy.info or click my affiliate link in the video description. So now that you've unlocked Canva Pro, let's get started by heading over to the Canva website. So for our first example, I'll be going over how to remove the background from an image that you upload. To do this, I think I'll start by opening up a new Facebook post template. When creating Facebook and other social media ads, I sometimes like to remove the backgrounds from mockups and other images to use for my promotions. So to make things easier and a lot faster, let's start by selecting one of the Canva Pro templates here. For this demonstration, I think this one will work fine. Now that I have my template open in my Canva project, let's remove the images here and replace the text. Now that I've edited my template, I can now upload the image that I want to remove the background from to use for my Facebook ad. To upload your own image to Canva, go ahead and look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the Uploads tab. Here's where you can view all the images and files that you've uploaded to Canva and where you can upload new images as well. So to upload the image I want to use for my post, let's go up and click the blue Upload Files button. You can then find and open up the image or images you want to use for your design. You'll then see your image uploading in the menu on the left hand side here. And when it's finished, simply drag it over or click it to add it to your template. So here's the mock-up I want to use for my clothing and apparel store Facebook post. As you can see, it's a pretty nice photo with models wearing my Quantum Designs t-shirts. But to use it for my marketing post, we're gonna need to get rid of this background. Luckily. Canva Pro provides us with access to the easy to use background remover tool where we can remove the background with a single click. To access the background remover, make sure you have your image selected, then look up at the top menu here and click on edit image. This will open up a menu on the left hand side where you can access all sorts of tools and features to edit your image. Underneath your frequently used tools, you should see the background remover. This is the magic button that should remove the background in one click. So let's click the background remover and see what happens. And voila, the background has been removed from both of my t-shirt models. As you can see, Canva does a great job at cutting out the main objects of your photos. But sometimes there may be some objects that need to be erased or maybe even restored. To erase or restore parts of your photo, you can use the brush icons at the top here. This is an easy to use tool for editing your photos after you remove the background. I think my image looks pretty good, but as an example, let's go over how to use the erase brush. This will open up a menu that allows you to select your brush size and show you a closer view of your image without all the other elements on your template. If you need to get an even closer view of your image, you can go down to the bottom here and use the slider bar to zoom in or zoom out. I think that'll work. So let's go back over here to the erase menu. First. You can use the slider bar here to increase or decrease the size of your erase brush. For erasing large objects, you should use a larger brush size, and if you want to get the fine details, you should use a smaller brush size. I'm going to be removing the model on the right, so let's start with the large brush size. 
Simply click and drag your brush over any part of the image that you want to erase. When using a large brush size, you don't want to get too close to any objects that you want to keep. So I'll get as close as possible to the shoulder here. Then I'm going to go back over to the slider and make my brush a bit smaller. I'm also going to go back to the slider at the bottom here to zoom in a lot more on the shoulder. There we go. With a small brush size and zoomed in super close, I should be able to get these fine details here. So let's use our smaller brush size and get a little bit closer to the shoulder line. Not bad. So now that we've gotten a little bit closer to the shoulder, we're going to move our brush size all the way down. With a tiny brush size, it should be a lot easier to follow the shoulder line. This allows us to get super close and get our image as good as possible. When editing edges like this, try to take your time because it can be a little bit tedious. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it as close as you can. There we go. I think I'll try to trim a little bit more off the edge. I think that'll work. If you're editing with the smallest brush size, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get as close as you can. Remember that we're zoomed in really close right now. So when we zoom back out, all these little imperfections will be really hard to see. If the background remover removes something that you want it to keep, or if you accidentally made a mistake while using the erase brush, you can correct this by using the restore brush. So let's say I was using the erase brush on the shoulder here, and I accidentally made a mistake and erased part of the shirt. This can easily be fixed by going over to the menu on the left and clicking the restore brush. This will function exactly the same as the erase brush, but instead of removing the image, it will restore it. So let's start by filling back in the edge here with the smaller brush. Then we can move to a larger brush to fill in the rest. I can use a larger brush for the inner part here because I don't have to be as precise. There we go. And my mistake has been corrected. If we zoom back out, we can see that the shoulder is now back to normal. So once you're happy with your image, make sure you go up top here and click on done. You'll then get a preview of how your image will look on your template. If everything still looks good, go down to the bottom here and click on apply. I can now resize, rearrange, and edit my image just like any of the other elements on my template. Make sure you take your time and get everything exactly the way you want it. I think that looks pretty good, but let's add another mock-up of my t-shirts and see if we can make it even better. For this image, I want to use the two t-shirts, but remove the background and the other products. So just like before, make sure you have the image selected, then go up to edit image, then we can go down and click on background remover. And after a few seconds, the background has been removed, leaving only the main items in my image. But since I only want to use the t-shirts, we're going to need to get rid of all these other products. To do this, of course, we're going to use the erase brush. So let's click the erase brush icon, change your brush size if needed, then erase all the unwanted items. Take your time and try not to erase anything that you want to keep. There we go. I think that turned out great. Once you're finished, make sure you go up and click on done, then go down and click on apply. Now I can rearrange and edit my two t-shirts here on my template. There we go. I think that looks much better. Now that I've removed the backgrounds from my mockups and created my post, I can now go up to share, go down to download, and download my Facebook post to my computer. So now that I've downloaded my Facebook post, let's open it up and get a closer look. As you can see, the Canva background remover does a really good job of removing the background from your images. All the lines are super clean, and it even does a great job on hair. Thanks to the background remover and the tools on Canva, I now have a really cool post to market my products on Facebook. So now that we've gone over how to upload our own images and remove the background, let's go over how to remove the background from photos in the Canva library and how to export your designs with transparency. If you plan to add your image to e-commerce products or other items and you don't want a white or colored square behind your design, then you need to export your design with transparency. For this demonstration, I'll be creating an example t-shirt design using one of the photos from the Canva library. So let's start by adding some text for my design. There we go. So now that I've added some text, let's go over how to browse the Canva library to find a good photo. From the menu on the left hand side, let's go over to the Elements tab. From here, simply go up to the search bar and type in the keyword for whatever type of photo that you're looking for. For my I'm just peachy t-shirt design, I'm gonna search for peach. As you can see, 
This pulls up all sorts of images, graphics, and photos related to the keyword peach. Since we're only looking for photos, let's click the photos tab at the top here to sort our results. Now from the results, let's scroll through and see if I can find a good image for my t-shirt design. As you can see, the Canva library has thousands of images for all sorts of categories. They have some free images, but to access all the images, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So for my t-shirt design, I think I'll select this Canva Pro image here. I think these peaches will look cool for my I'm just peachy t-shirt. But to add my design to t-shirts or other products, I first need to remove the background from the peaches photo. So just like before, let's make sure we have the photo selected, then go up to the top menu and click on edit image. From the menu, let's go down and click on background remover. And there we have it. Like magic, the background has been removed from my peaches. The background remover worked perfectly, so I don't think I need to use the erase or restore brush. So let's go down and click on apply. I can now resize, rearrange, and edit my peaches for my t-shirt design. I think that'll work for this example. So now that I've created a design for my product, I need to export it without exporting the white background. To do this, you'll have to select the option to export your design with transparency. So let's start by going up to the share button at the top right, then go down to download. To export with transparency, you have to make sure that you have PNG selected under file type. Also, if you need to resize your design for a particular product, you can use the size slider bar here. This is a simple way to resize your design, whether you're uploading to a t-shirt or to a coffee mug. And under the size slider bar, make sure you select the transparent background checkbox. This will ensure that only the graphics and text of your image will be downloaded and not the square background. And if your project has multiple designs, you can select the correct one using the drop down menu here. So once you've selected all of the export options, go ahead and click on download. My new t-shirt design should now be downloaded to my computer with the transparent background. So let's open up my new design and see how it looks. Not bad. As you can see, the background remover did a perfect job on the edges of my peaches. And with a transparent background, I can now add my image to t-shirts, hoodies, or any other products. So we've gone over how to use the background remover and export your designs with transparency from the Canva website. So now let's go over how to use the Canva mobile app. With the Canva mobile app, you can easily remove the background from images and edit your designs directly from your smartphone. So the first thing we need to do is download the Canva mobile app. To do this, go ahead and head over to your app store, type in Canva, and click on the Canva icon. You can then read over the details if you wish, but once you're finished, go ahead and download the app. Once the app finishes downloading, you should see the blue Canva icon. Let's go ahead and click that to open it up. As you can see, the home page on the mobile app is very similar to the Canva website. So let's go ahead and open up a blank project so we can go over how to use the background remover. So for this example, I'll be removing the background from an image that I upload from my phone camera roll. So to upload my image, let's look at the bottom left here and click the blue plus sign icon. This will pull up a menu where you can view all of the Canva elements, templates, and upload your own images. You could search the Canva library for an image to use, but we're gonna go down to the camera roll icon at the bottom here and upload an image directly from my smartphone. For this example, let's upload this image of this cool looking box here. There we go. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can get a closer look. This is definitely a cool looking fox, but he looks a bit cold in the snow. So let's go over how to remove the background from the image and see if we can fix that. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you click your image to select it. This will bring up a new menu at the bottom with tools that you can use to edit your image. To access the background remover, let's click on the effects tab. This will open up a new menu with all sorts of effects that you can add to your image. The first effect you should see here is the BG remover or the background remover. Just like the Canva website, you can click this to remove the background with a single click. So without further ado, let's click it now and see what happens. And voila, the background has been removed from my fox. I can now resize, rearrange, and edit my fox any way that I like. Since he's been stuck in the snow this whole time, I think I'll help him out and put him in a warmer location. And there we go. Now I think the fox looks a lot more comfortable. Whenever you're ready to export your image, simply go up to the download icon at the top here. 
Your image will then be downloaded to your smartphone and you can use it however you like. So that's a quick overview of how to use the Canva background remover on both the Canva website and on the Canva mobile app. Remember that to use the background remover and to access all the templates and images in the Canva library, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. Go ahead and head over to jasongandy.info or click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.